All right, we'll, we're here boiling some uh, shrimp and corn and garlic, potatoes, mushrooms. I did say corn. We got the potatoes already boiling. That smells so good. Can y'all smell that? You should be able to. And Chad's in here doing the, uh, he's working on the steak. And then here's the shrimp right here. I guess, uh, I guess I can just take it on out there with me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm ready to get it. Don't want you to get no more shrimp juice on your countertop. <laughs> you got it out of the refrigerator. He set it on the counter and he got shrimp juice all on his on his countertop. Won't tell me I did that. What's up, Paul? What's up, Wade? Remember them potatoes and shrimp I cooked at your house there in North Carolina, Paul? They were good, weren't they? Boy, we're fixing to have them again. Wade, you're not too far from me. Just right up there in the Delta a little bit. Where is cats? They all over the place. Let's go see. Paul wants to see your cats, man. Paul wants to see your cats. Where'd your cats go? They outside? They're outside. They're all outside. Well, let's see if we can find them. Well, there's, there we go. Sleeping up in the mulberry bush pot and some on the chair here. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Just living the life. Their brother got killed yesterday or a couple of days ago out there in the road. Yeah, Paul, the boat was a smoking uh, the other day when those cats started chewing into his uh, wiring harness and crossing those wires. Say what? And Chad's got him some orphan kittens. The mama gave birth to him in his boat. He started feeding them. They ripped the carpet out of his boat. Pooped in it. He's going to have to redo his whole boat. And these are some fresh gulf shrimp from... Uh, Green Meadows, Louisiana. Let's see how these things look. Let me get them open. Oh yeah. Got some big ones. Straight up from Louisiana this morning. Let's see how his progress is coming. Everybody didn't shut the door on them cats. All right. I got them salted and peppered, and yeah. And, and now you gonna you gonna you can't do? Put it back in the refrigerator, bro. You supposed to let a snake cook the. No, set it, it was fine. To room temperature. Listen, I know how this is done. I know how this is done. I know how to cook a steak. You couldn't cook a steak if I wasn't here teaching you. 
Now, you do. I don't you. believe you teaching me shit because I had to put it in the microwave to warm yeah. the motherfucker up. You got the oven on yet? I mean, the stove on yet? Yeah, I got it on. Get your ass out there and fix some shrimps. Them shrimps are ready. They're ready to go in the water in any minute. I got to give our uh, mushrooms and corn a little, more, a little bit more time. Potatoes got cooked. They're nice and spicy. What's Jesse's name? Jesse's last name? I don't know. I can't tell you. He's up there at the. He's at the on Old Fannin Road there. At the. Uh, I don't know him. I can't remember. Right. But anybody who's here in the reservoir area and is watching, his name's Jesse. He's up there by the. Spillway Diner on Old Fannin Road. At the Texcomo? Texcomo, I guess. Is it a Texcomo? I can't remember what it is. It's a, it's a food mart. I know that. Yeah. And there's a food mart directly across the street, too. The Texcomo, right across the street, the dude that owns... Used to own Spillway Diner. No, and built that store. No, he used then, to own the Walt the Huddle House. Yeah, you know, well, that's what I'm talking about. Well, that's where Spillway Diner is now. Right, Curtis Measles owns Spillway Diner. <laughs> Don't trick. Oh, it came back on. You get a poor signal in here sometimes. Yeah, it ain't me. It's your fault. There we go. We said to hell with the grill tonight. We're going to pan sear these. What time? Graham, what you that's some Woodshire sauce. Just a little bit of Woodshire sauce. I'll give you the bottle. You can pour it. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I didn't mean to try to give me a little bit in your hand. Here. You idiot. Well, that's why you're going to do what you do whatever you need to do. You need to take the top off. Yeah, this is a brand new bottle. Never been there. You got another bottle in there? No. I don't think I did. I think I used the last of it. But here's some. Right there. Oh, that little bit. Yeah, well, you know what? That's, that's Might as well use it up. You gotta get to making some sauce. Yeah, I need to make some sauce. Uh -oh. I need the horseradish. Horseradish, ketchup. Just a little bit of mustard, maybe. Good Lord, you ain't got much ketchup. Oh, there's four more bottles in the cabinet. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. Horseradish. <laughs> now I need a bowl. I'm prepared for the apocalypse, mm. son. <laughs> you think that'll be enough? Look, if you live video and on Facebook show them this. I, I can't get another can in the cabinet. I'm prepared for the apocalypse. You know, I got a seven pound container of that Hershey's chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. It ain't seven pounds anymore. <laughs> yeah, well. You, you think I should put a bigger bowl? There's three of those in there. A bigger bowl than this? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Maybe this one? Get one out, out of the dishwasher. Mm, all right. Sweet Sue. Here, this, this, this see, you had, I see you had to even move your Sweet Sue over here because you didn't have no room over there. No, I didn't move them over there, but... Because I had no room over here, I moved them over there because I started cooking my own. Remember me yeah. and you cooking squirrel and dumplings? Oh, yeah. Now, I cook, we cooking chicken and dumplings? Okay, they, they much better than sweet food. <laughs> yeah, they are. Sweet food's going to be left over there for an emergency situation. We did cook some good squirrel Look, dumplings. That, that's an emergency situation. I ain't got nothing else left. But if it's an emergency situation, they're still freaking good. <laughs> You know? They're okay, but they ain't what we cook. Shit. They're not what we cook. Yeah. Oh, 
Right. Boar's head. I need something to stir that with. This is like half, this is a puree, yeah. It is, it's a puree. It's actually good poison. Mm-hmm. I've got some root at the house. Horseradish root. Hey, give me a little whoosh shot. I'm gonna put a little bit of that's good to put yeah, in here. Yeah, that's good. What's some shrimp doing out there? They, they waiting to be cooked. Waiting to be cooked. They better be. Yeah. Here we go. God almighty. I know, we got more ketchup. Then I'm going to tell you what, if you don't want to fire your grill up, ain't nothing better than a cast iron steak. That's right. I think it needs some more horseradish. You taste it. Well, put some more horseradish. Huge thing. What's your name? Yeah, we're going to waste half that damn sauce. Mm-hmm. Good evening, Ed. How are you doing? Hear the seer. Taste the meat, not the heat. Yeah. I don't think my five or some twelve, but yeah, well, you got some quarters. We ain't gonna need all this. Louisiana shrimp came up that came up this morning. That looks about done. Almost. All right, well, I'm going to let y'all go so I can get some work done. Y'all have a good evening. <laughs>